Yes, we made it to the Rustaval. In the micro, it's here. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Hello, son. How are you? You all right? I'm all right, mate. We are on the way to Rustival 2024, September 2024. In fact, actually, it's Rustival 2. Yeah. We are in the micro, and we're filming this a little bit later because, well, when we got up this morning, it was pitch black. So we are sort of 80 miles into our 100 mile journey now. We are getting close to Gaydon. Um, the micro. Let's talk about how it's running. Are you happy with the way it's running? Hey, it's good enough for a listen micro, isn't it? We got about... It could be a lot know, worse. We got about 10 minutes into our journey and um, a mill light. mill light has come on. Yeah. Uh, but the car, as you said, as long as it's running fine... It's running, t running treat, uh, isn't we're, it? We're not going to panic. Um, after the questions yesterday with regards to um, the air gulp, and it not running right, we oh. are on the road, and as I say, touch wood it's so far, so fine. good. It's running fine. So we prematurely panicked um, about the micro. Will we get to Gaiden? Yeah, I think we will. Nearly push it there. <laughs> we could nearly push it there. What are you expecting to see today at the Rustaval? I'm going to see lots and lots of lovely cars, yep. and lots and lots of interesting people, yep. and I'm not going to have a beef burger. You're not having a burger? No. Did you not remortgage the house? No. I, I'm expecting burgers are going to be £10. Did you actually, are you going to have a look, to dare look at the price even? Uh, one of burgers? Yes. No, I can't have a burger anyway. I've spent two weeks eating burgers and now I've got, <laughs> a, got a lot of weight to lose again. You're burgered out. Stay tuned then because we are at Rustaval 2. Uh, we're going to do you a best of video, I think. Uh, but for those of you that wanted to know how the micro went, well, so far, so good. And as Dad said, if it goes wrong now, we could almost push it there. <laughs> Rustaval 2 then. Are you tweeting? No. What are you doing? I'm still sending mum a message. Uh, excuse me, what have you found there? A Ferrari? A Ferrari, re, re, uh, re. You're going to have to do a lot more YouTube in Sunshine to get yourself one of them. Um, I could probably stretch to, I don't know, a Toyota Starlet for you or something at the moment, but... Uh, Your mum would like this, wouldn't she? Go into the art group in this What, a the... Ferrari? This one belongs to JM on Cars. Can you imagine uh, your mum getting one. out of the Ferrari? Uh, I could imagine Mum being excited to be in a Ferrari. Um, I don't think she'd like the gate, would she? The, the gear change gate would confuse her, I think. Yeah, I think she wouldn't like that. She'd go, oh, it's too low down. It's got too it's, many gears. It's got too many gears. Um, maybe we could start a, a, a YouTube monetization Get Dad a but Ferrari. But that's a proper shaped car, isn't it? What, the Micra? No. Well, <laughs> the Ferrari. The Ferrari. You see all these things with the blinking... Well, I don't say the word, but alternative fuel source. Oh, and right. They've got, and they've got, the front ends don't even look like cars, do they? They look like snow plows. Okay, so thumbs up for a Ferrari? Oh, fair enough, I'm surprised. Lots of folk here uh, seeing Ben from Tasty Classics. He's brought his Ford and his Triumph as well. If you're a fan of the uh, Tasty Classics show, then uh, you can have a look at that Vitesse. Excuse me, we've come to look at cars, not the fish pond. Should have brought you a rod. Your Ford Angler. Oh no, Anglia. Where <laughs> are we headed then, bro? I was going to say, which way should we start? I think we're going to have to start by looking at the X Hubnut Smart Car. Yeah. So we're in the Hubnut section. Everything's a bit Hubnut in here. And this is it. This is, um, well, Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV. But this is the previous Hubnut. Uh, smart car, you checking out the camber? No, I've seen how what the wheel out gap was like. Does it does it need uh, does it need new suspension? It's uh, well, I'm doing the dilation check and it appears to be lower than yours is now. <laughs> could be, could be needing some new shockies, but there it is. There's the uh, the hub nut smart. One for Mrs. John Coupland. Uh, it is a panda. <laughs> check out the pandas in there, Mrs. C. Ah, here's Matt's Ford Crown Vic. Looking good with its police spec items. Hooked on Classics has brought their Rover 75. Don't do it. Don't go and look at the cells, because I know you're tempted to go I've and do it. I've got distracted by the patina of the bonnet, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's an unusual patina of the bonnet. I'm sure it's been done for a reason. Looking good. Aha, Nissan Micra spotted. 
Uh, before we do that, let's talk about this Vauxhall. Yeah. Uh, we've just spoke to the yeah. team. Yeah, back uh, to the, yeah. Uh, at retro, well, I don't know. I, I, I didn't get the chap's name, sadly. It's uh, man and his son, son isn't it? This has been in the family for a very long time, belonged to his uh, late wife, and uh, he lovingly restored it, and it's going to his son when he's old enough. So um, that's good, that, isn't it? And it, it highlights the fact that the stories, you know, are sometimes m more important than the car. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Very it's not, nice. It's not, it's not, it's not a machine, that isn't, is no. it? It's no. a family member. Exactly. Now let's go look at this micro, please. Uh, which has got like a mystique paint flip on it. I think we've seen it before. Have we? we? Oh, Have we? Oh, sorry, Miss, hello, Miss, Miss Hubnut. Hello, morning. Um, it belongs to John. And look at the look at the flip on that. That's, I know. It's we, we, we have seen that before. I think mm, you're absolutely yeah. right. Maybe at Rustaval One. I believe so. Yeah. I think uh, it's the paintwork that makes you realise. I don't see many like that. Oh <laughs> yeah. And also, I would like to take time to check out this 406 Peugeot. The non-estate version. Who on earth would run one of these? <laughs> Excellent. Oh, she's got the leather interior, my friend. Oh, it's it's not got a vegan interior. No, it's the executive <laughs> edition. Uh, we spoke to uh, Gentil last time. Here he is with his BMW oh, yeah. 520. Look at that, beautiful. I know, I know. I, know. I, I love the three box cars. Done a, done a lot of work on that. Follow him on his channel, Gentil's Garage. If you want to check it out. Aha! Here is a Wartburg that got smoked by a Nissan Micra on the uh, on the road on the way here. I don't mean that I smoked it, uh, but I overtook it, and uh, it's lovely, isn't it? This you don't see many of these. Do you know it? what I really love about it? The colour. Well, you know I like mixing concrete. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that it's cement mixer orange. Very near, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what have you found here? Well, I'm a bit concerned about this Mini with steaming windows. Steaming windows? I know. Why, why are you concerned? Well, there's either two people in there getting sweaty or it's damp inside. <laughs> uh, I can confirm there are no courting couples. I can't see any people's back. in it. I certainly couldn't get me and so Mrs. John Cooper in there. So she's just a bit damp in there. <laughs> I was just thinking of the colour of this marina, but I can't think what it is. Um, it could be cinnabar. Cinnabar was more red, one. not it? My Ital was cinnabar. It's nice though, whatever it is. This is Ed's marina. Very nice. Here's something I think we need to add to the collection at some point. Not a, no, not a Nissan Figaro. We've got enough K11 Micras. Uh, and not a Brabus Smart 450. Uh, but let me just point it out to you before you get excited about this Smart. Nissan Cube. Yeah, there's several here, mate. Yeah, we awesome need to win. grab ourselves a Nissan Cube, I think. Yeah. But, but I don't want an imported, molested one. I want an unmolested UK spec one. There wasn't many of them, was there? This Brabus uh, with quite a cool uh, personalised number plate. Uh, Tony Williams, this belongs to. Uh, he is on the Twitter. Oh it's yeah, the that's good, isn't it? Edition. Um, that's that's sitting a little bit lower than uh, than ours now. I'm guessing the Brabus had a different sort of suspension setup and pack. Aha! Being delivered really? now to no, the is, John Cooper the collection. Fetching some of your stuff from your house. I beg your pardon. <laughs> this is how they're going to collect stuff from your house <laughs> when you've got so many. This is what we on. need. Drop them off. Drop them off at the Coopland fleet. Look at that, brilliant. That's what we need. What have you found there? Mark 1 Capri. Oh, very nice. I'm looking at the XA next to the XA. I'm going to have to have a look at it. Mmm, velour. Aha, there he is, it's Mr Hubnut. Thank you very much, good morning. Yeah, how are how you? Are you? I'm very well. Um, I'm just we're hoping... all doing the same thing. Yeah, we're, we're all, all doing, doing the same, we're all doing yeah. the same thing. Just watch Hubnut's around. video, it's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got everything. Walk around talking nonsense into phones. Yeah, exactly. Aha, look at this Pulsar. Isn't that beautiful? It's special, this, isn't it? Look at that. But you were checking out the uh, Capri next to oh, it. Yeah. I would do too. It's the GT model. <laughs> ah, this belongs to Eddie Ratley. He's got a Mitsubishi Galant, exactly the oh, same as yours. And man. he donated to the Proton cores, lots of Proton bits and pieces. Now, another Nissan Cube. And this one actually doesn't look too molested, too changed. I'm a big fan of that. And look at it, it's in sort of the Mrs. John Cooten special. It's like I don't a maroon think the UK color. spec ones look like this, do they? 
I, I, you were the one that sold I them, know. not me. I used to I used to work on them. We didn't sell many of them. I know they're asymmetrical at the back, but <laughs> lovely thing. I reckon I was actually had a window there. Huh? I think UK actually has a window there, a small one, because they're asymmetrical, they're not the same both sides. Oh, OK. Nissan Cube Legends, comment down below. Uh, how do we know if it's a UK spec one, not a Jap spec? This is how I feel. Abused daily. <laughs> Look at that. I like that. I'm really sorry, because I know like you them, don't but... like them. Yeah, but the, you only like it because it's a giant smart car. Mercedes A-Class. Yeah, I think you're right. I do only like it because it's a giant smart car. I think you're absolutely right. I think these are ageing really nicely. Yeah, it's yeah, like a big comment. ladybug. Fair comment. I'm not arguing with that. Inevitably, Dad has found himself a Mini to look at. Problem is, have you noticed? Oh, he, he's found himself, this wonderful gentleman. You have to kneel down to work Fiat, on the engine. The Fiat Coupe. What are you doing? You have to kneel down to work on the engine on this, look. Uh, we looked at this car at mm. the last Rustival, and you said, uh, I bet there's not much room to work on anything. The owner uh, has confirmed, confirmed to us that that is the case. <laughs> you can just about see the oil filter, I think, just under the <laughs> Yeah, the oil filter's been done, sir. <laughs> Uh, did you know it's actually not Rustaval, it's Nissan Cubivore. I was going to say. There's another one in that wonderful colour. Lovely, isn't they? Proper car. Twingo, Twingo Ahoy. Oh, and another panda for Mrs. John Coupland. The Mrs. John Coupland That's a big spec. panda. Before we miss it, can we look at this uh, Charleston Citroen, please? Well, I was going to do. It's got your personalised plate. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the C3 Plurials and I love the Charleston edition. They are brilliant. No, sadly, Mrs. John Cooking does not like the Charleston Plurials. Which yeah. you're surprised she about. She hasn't got a very good taste, has she? <laughs> <laughs> the more I look at these sort of cars, I think it's nice, isn't it? What, the Trabant? Yeah, any of that sort of stuff. Yeah. Wartburg, Trabant. Mm. What about the Suzuki Cami oh. Tipper? How cool is oh, that? I've never seen one of those. <laughs> That could be useful, couldn't it? You like that, don't you? I do. Yeah, I like that. A little Suzuki tipper truck. Sort of pickup wagon. Very nice. I've got lots of useful uses for that. Aha! Look at that. Tat Bucket, if you want to follow it. At Tat Bucket. Yeah? That's a lovely Moggy 1000, isn't it? With that's, nice the, that's the next step for the Peugeot. What, Brush rat paint. look? Yeah. <laughs> you could have... Uh, you could have it on, on Twitter. Instead of, instead of piss poor spray job, I could have a really nice brush finish. Rusty French barge. <laughs> Look at this beautiful Rover 75. Yeah. Pre uh, project drive, of Stop course. Going on about project Stop drive. drive, it didn't exist. Project pride, project, project drive, drive is just a, a number figment one. of your imagination. It's, it's a lovely colour, it's like a purpley black maroony colour. Very nice. A V6, of course. We've, we've entered the... There seem, there seem to be sort of little areas that people have sort of migrated together. Yeah, we've got an MG ZTT, the Tora there. We've got an MG ZT here. This is a beautiful colour. It's like a, a pearlescent white. And, aha, look what we've found. A Mark I Toyota MR2. I need to get myself some of these dealer spec bonnet stripes, but I'm a bit cautious about putting them on my blue one. Let me know in the comments down below. Dealer spec bonnet stripes on our Audi, uh, Audi TT, no, not on the Audi TT, on our Toyota MR2, yay or nay? What do you think? What's that? Putting some of them on our car. No. I've got to look at it, I'm sorry, because I fell in love with it last time. It's oh, this, this machine, Honda yeah. import, it's like an S660 or an S260. We're going to have a quick look at what it is, but I did fall in love with this the last time we came. S660, yeah. Um, I thought, do you know what, I might see how much one of these are because I could grab myself one. Oh, you uh, did, a, didn't you? A good one is going to cost you, well, about 20 grand. So, uh, more YouTube views and we might be able to buy ourselves a little Honda K car. This is probably more in my price range. A uh, Kensington Rover 100. This is lovely. And it's got its original dealer sticker in the back as well. Clarks of Narborough. Oh yeah, look at that lovely MG. And the Talbot Sunbeam behind it. No, that's a Lotus Talbot Sunbeam. I beg your I was telling you it's a bit special. You tell me about it. What, what, what's the difference then between a Talbot Sunbeam and a Lotus Talbot Sunbeam? 
apart from the name Lotus on the side. The only person round our way was Roger Larrington had one of these. Is this a... Um, well, it's got a Lotus A, Lotus a genuine or is it a tribute? Oh, no, I, I think it's a real thing, I think. I reckon that's the real thing. Careful, else you're going to get run over. But if you do get run over, you'll be in the right I'm vehicle the right. to be taken away in. Look at so, that. Flamed hearse. Look at this. Citroen Jurassic Park. This is the Rust Bucket Rally uh, who have come today. They raise loads of cash for um, uh, lots of different charities around Europe. So look at that. That's uh, certainly drawn some attention today. Where and if, um, before we move on, I've got to have a look at it. I'm really sorry. Before Here it is. It's the £100 Proton Iswara. Belongs to Steph, of course. And this is the one we sent some parts for recently to oh. keep it on the road. I can't remember what we sent. We sent a distributor and distributor. all sorts of stuff to Throttle Steph. Throttle body and a distributor. Throttle mate. body, yeah. So there it is. Still back on the road. And, Did um, the man with the injectors get his car sorted? Who's that? Oh yeah, yeah. We sent some to uh, a chap, some injectors to a chap recently, and he's his protons back on the road. Oh good, keeping protons on the road in 2024. <laughs> uh, I've bought you a car. You know, I don't want a car. It's this. I ain't got room. It's this kit car. Yeah, Here's Elton and, uh, and, and Claire from UK Barn Finds. They've picked this up recently, which is a really interesting thing. It's like some sort of kit car. Uh, it's got a two CV base. 600 quid they paid for that at auction and I've been I've been offered it for you for 800 quid. What do you think? You know, empty empty a space in your garage so I've got somewhere to put it. <laughs> Good to see the team at UK Barn Finds here today. Stop eyeing up a Volvo. You can't replace your Peugeot, not just oh, yet. There's more room in the uh, back of that, isn't there? You could get some stuff in that, couldn't you? Here's VEP, shout out to David. That side trapped by the stall full of Hot Wheels. No, again. you can't buy Hot Wheels. I know, but you know, I've always liked Hot Wheels. Uh, this is a lovely Corrado. Again, it's in like that sort of lovely Merlin purple colour. I'm a big fan of that. And there's a lot of Alphas here today as there well. There is. I was thinking the same thing. Look um, at this. Your mum would like this. What, a, a, a Renault Kangoo? Oh, that's a four-wheel drive. We could go off-road. But I nearly bought a Renault Kangoo van recently. I and know. you told me no. Well, you didn't tell me no. We, we basically had Just, a little bit of a... Change of heart. Stop looking at it. How rusty is it underneath? Oh, <laughs> well, that's a four-wheel drive, look. Yeah. You could take your mummy out in that. <laughs> you could take her over the fields and stuff. XJ Sport, very nice. This car is Ooh. on my list of things I would like to own at some point. This is a GR86 uh, Toyota, and it's on my list of things. Is it the colour you like most? Well, it's the, it's the <laughs> like Mrs. Fisher J. blue yeah, colour. Mrs. JC. But it's also the fact that they are beautiful things, aren't they? I like the colour. And a ZTT next to it. Uh, this is Matt's Rover Vitesse. He bought it at auction, sight unseen, and he's done lots and lots of work to it to get it on the road. It is beautiful. Uh, that, is, that is lovely. An absolute credit. You've spotted another one. <laughs> Volvo V70. They are blooming good cars. Uh, we've just been talking to Aaron of this one. Uh, getting it and go. What a lovely oh, Audi towards this Audi. Yeah, I'm, I'm having to look at this Audi 80 because it really is beautiful. What a lovely thing. And it's got that lovely spoiler on the back. The precursor, of course, to the Audi A4. In my opinion, one of the last of the great Audis, these. Lovely. Sounds some love that does, doesn't it? It's, it's, a, it's a good old thing. What are you spotted? It's pickup. Yeah. It's a Peugeot Hogar Escapade. As far as I'm aware, the only one in the UK. Oh, right. It's an imported edition, as far as I'm aware. And it belongs to a chap that follows me on Twitter, whose name I sadly cannot remember right now. Uh, but uh, yeah, look at that. I spotted it earlier when I went to the uh, Peugeot facilities. There you go, two birds, one stone. That's what you need. Get yourself one of them. Before you do, before you go off to use the toilets and showers yeah. uh, over there, uh, look at this Corsa, look at the black bumpers. I had a chat with the owner of this earlier and said, how do you keep the bumpers so black? Do you know what his secret is? WD-40. Oh, right. Ah, WD-40, folks. Ah, I've spotted somebody hiding amongst the police cars. We've got an NYPD one here, we've got a Crown Vic, and we've got a canine unit as well. Are we having a bus? Next project, I bought a bus. 
Uh, we just had a look, we've had a chat with Russ here uh, about the, the Polytrol colour restoration. If you recall, we've used it on the bumpers on the Proton and it came out top. So, uh, in fact, we've got a little goodie bag. So, thank you very much. <laughs> Step away yeah, from the hot wheels. hot wheels. I can't help Step it. Step away I'm from still the a little boy wheels. when it comes to hot wheels. <laughs> Flanner Automotive, remember we got a Proton uh, yeah. keyring at the Festival Smart. Exceptional from the team there. Rustaville Inspector spotted. Oh yeah. Rustaville Inspector. Proper dog. Yes. But, no, my, my experience is in radio. Proper dog. Right, we found out what time we're on the stage. It's 11.40. What time is it now? Oh, you've got an hour yet? An hour of car stuff. Oh, look who it is. It's Alan. And what's he brought you there? <laughs> Tesco Finest Sardines. You know, I've been looking after Tesco his... Finest as well. We've got to go for the proper oh, ones. The... Real McCoy. I've been looking after his dog, and every time I had to send sardines, I had to share them with his dog. Oh, I know. <laughs> that's going to that's gonna be dinner now. So, so, so the sardine inspector has been out and about. She has, right, mate, she has. Aha, what have you spotted? Oh, look at this lovely old Austin. That's lovely. That would have slowed you down coming in that. Yeah, good job. We didn't bring the arm strong, isn't it? No, no, it would have been a bit of an epic journey, wouldn't it? Husky VLX 599G. Now, I've never seen one of these before. What on earth is this? How cool is that? Now, I want to just point something out to you, which is this. Look at that lovely yellow MGZR. My friend had one of these when we were 17. Oh, he did, didn't he? And I've always hankered after one. Uh, find a good one now, genuinely, okay, yeah, MGZR. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them are rotting out front wings and back wheel arches and bits and pieces and our 50 shades of yellow. Um, if you've got a good one, let me know. <laughs> uh, look at this as well, this uh, lovely Peugeot. Puddle Farm Cluck and Quack Egg Suppliers. Why piddle? In ah. Lidl. <laughs> That's a bit of fun, that. I like that. Yeah. Do you know what else I've seen? What? A Mercedes 190E. There. Don't go there. Now, here's a Coupland top tip. Don't trap your fingers in, in the, the boot, boot lid. of one of these. <laughs> uh, a Montego, because it blooming well hurts. Uh, I, we was in Scarborough on holiday and some little boy decided to put his fingers uh, round this area, if I remember rightly. I think he was leaning on the wing like that and Dad shut his blooming... Oh, was I? Yeah, and, something uh, like that. And Dad slams the boot lid down. <laughs> and, uh, it's good to get little fingers because they popped out all right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, boot lid and fingers on a Montego. Ouchie. How do you fancy a purple Alpine? That's nice, isn't it? Or would you rather have the Citroen behind you? Well, I'm more into, I'm going to have a look at it. Because it is a bit special, isn't it? It certainly is. Check out this Chrysler, uh, sorry, I'll wash my mouth out, Lancia Ypsilon. Stop painting now. Yes, stop, stop painting. You've got to and, go to the Rustaville. Go to the Rustaville. Excuse me, I found your latest van. Mm -hmm. Your latest uh, thing to replace the Peugeot. I know this what you're Lotus. looking at. This Lotus. <laughs> you're being a little bit silly. I um, have a thing for Lotuses. I would love to drive one. I've never driven a Lotus. Let me know in the comments down below. Can I come and drive your Lotus, please? You couldn't get in the flipping thing. Look at that, Lotus 410 Sport. Oof. Well, it's green like the Peugeot, that's at oh, least one thing. thing. I can appreciate how lovely it is, but uh, not very practical, is it? Here's a Citroen BX. If you need some headlights for a Citroen BX, I have some brand new in box in my garage, let me know. This Volvo is covered in race cars. Can we spot the Proton race car? Uh, do we think there's a Proton race car on there? Here's something I'm a fan of. No, we'll have a look at that in a second. But the Volkswagen Up, I yeah. think these are really underrated little cars, especially if you get yourself a GTI version. Uh, this one belongs to Andrew. Uh, nice to see you today. Go on then, let's look at it. The Land Rover Camper Van. Mm. How cool is that? Go beyond 4x4 campers. <laughs> That's what your mum would do. Oh, yeah. Mum would put an <laughs> hanging basket on it. even put yourself a little hanging basket <laughs> on the That's back. That's just the sort of thing your mum would want. 
Need one of these for the snail van, I've decided. Spare tyre on the back and Mavis the snail. We need to crack on, mate, because I tell you for why, uh, it's 11.40 and that means you and I are on the Rustival stage. Oh, well, I'm too poorly, I can't go on the floor. Oh, yeah, you're, you're a bit bunged up today. I am. Uh, but next we are on the Rustival stage, so we're making our way back. Hey now, look at this. This is a really late Rover 75. Oh, is it post project drive? Uh, yeah, it's, yes, have I got my microphone it, yes, on. Yes, yes, you have. It's post project drive. We can hear you moaning about it. Um, it's. Um, uh, do you know what? The more I look at these, the more I hate the facelift. This is something a bit better for you. Look, too fast, too too rusty. <laughs> it says there. I like that. Uh, this is a fast Montego turbo, isn't it? That's a Rover 800 engine or a Tomcat engine. Yeah. It's not nice. a Montego engine. But it's a Montego estate. Ah, oh, you've spotted uh, one of the Rustival Foxes uh, here on this lovely 82 Mini. But one thing I have spotted, you know how you like a Volvo with the stuff that you can put in the back? Yeah, I can get... <laughs> oh, no, I thought you'd look at that one. No, too much, well, you, you, you can get a lot in there. Too much stuff in the you back. You can get that. too many things in that. But look at this Volvo ambulance. How cool is that? That's my sort of thing. You could get stuff in that. What, in, a, in your uh, Mini? Look, it's well, for sale, mate. Get it bought. Look how much stuff you could get in it. I tell you what, if you spend this month's YouTube revenue, you can buy it. Look, get that much stuff in there. Yeah. How much stuff? That much. Oh, that much. Do you not like the uh, the Volvo ambulance? It's cool, isn't it? <laughs> Just stop everything. No, it's for sale. Uh, oh, no. I'm going to send a picture now. Let me just take, step back and send a little picture to Mrs. John Coopland. Can you stand? Can you just stand next to it, please, with a thumbs up, so I can send a, a little picture uh, next to the for sale sign? Yes, nice. And let's just get a little bit closer. Uh, for sale. Yes, yes. lovely. Mrs. John Coopland. Yeah, she's going to like that one. <laughs> this is nice. This lovely Triumph Herald. It is, this is a it? nice classic, isn't it? Yeah. A lovely looking classic. Yeah. You like that one? You'd be, you'd sit there look thinking, hey, I'm, I'm back in the 1960s going out in that. Hey, it's just about previous conversation, but if the roads was just the same. <laughs> I should find myself going somewhere where there's no traffic. Rustival Inspector. Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? You'd find yourself going somewhere. Let's go where there's no traffic so we can imagine we're in the 1960s again. Oh. This is lovely, Mrs. John Cooton special. Bloody lovely. What's that? <laughs> it's bloody lovely, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it lovely? No, it's more than that, it's bloody it's, lovely. Isn't it bloody lovely? <laughs> oh, mate. Oh my goodness, it's Pat the Panda. <laughs> it is What's Pat, the, Pat Pan the Panda doing in this Volvo? There he is. I've got something to tell you. What? That was the Van den Plaar parking. You've yep. got lots more cars to look at. I don't think I've seen them all yet. All up there. Let's go. Let's go. This is Peggy, the Morris Minor 1000, belongs to Becca Treston from uh, the Passenger Seat Podcast. And Peggy has been lovingly restored recently. And now she looks beautiful. She does, doesn't with she? With a fresh coat of paint. Hey. What a gorgeous looking thing. Bet they're pleased with that, John boy. Ah, here we go. Now we can see the Rustival. That is the Van den Plaar parking. I don't know whether I'm going a bit quaint, but I keep thinking I want a Bond book. You what? I don't know what it is. A Bond bug? I don't know why, because... I don't know what... I keep seeing them now and I think... I think I miss the boat every time. What was your favourite car from the Van den Pla area? Vauxhall Cresta. Oh yeah. That, yeah. The, the two-tone black and pink? Yeah. Do you know what? Me too. And a close second? Is the Herald next to it. Yeah, the Triumph Herald. It just brings back the 60s. I quite like this Lotus here. 
And actually, I'm going to give it a shout out. The yellow MGZR. Oh, yeah. Purely because my mate had one, it's nice to see. You don't see many yellow ones in nice condition, yeah. Now. It's in the Ilmenimp stiletto over there, yeah, the fastback Ilmenimp. It's a lovely day here. Beautiful. Can you imagine if your mum had bought a Tigra? <laughs> your mum in a Vauxhall Tigra. Well, this is a bit smart that's leaving. It's smart indeed. Very much so. Well, it's quarter past one and people are leaving already, so we better yeah, must be getting all get the stomping be. around this Mayfair area. We've got to look at it, haven't we? Not necessarily the Rover 75, but the 2CV Bamboo, one for Pat. It. Very nice. And look, an X Power Grey MG. I think that's the sort of bear I picked up in the B&M and waved and walked around the corner to frighten your mum with. Yeah, you're a fan of the bears. <laughs> Oh, look at this Bedford pickup. Have you done that recently? Have you done that in your mother's Range Rover? Excellent. I love it. I think that's your sort of thing, that. Now what you found? This Stayu? Oh, no. <laughs> this one. Well, you've got lots of room in there to work on stuff, haven't you? Yeah, it's got a different engine in it. Are you checking out this Fiat Panda? Um, uh, yeah, I'm... Uh, I like all pandas, I think they're lovely. Here's something I'm a fan of. I bet you like this. I do, yeah. I do, I do, I do, I do. Oh, I've got to go look at it, I'm afraid. Mm. Look at this. Hands. I found something I want to buy. Yeah. Which is a set of Roadster wheels for the Smart. Looked like a 451, but it's not, it's a 450. Ah, smart, smart roadster. I think this needs to be one of our next projects. That's a lovely Renault Alpine that too, is. isn't it? It caught my eye. Another smart 42450. All the smarts are here today. Go on then, let's look at it. This Audi. I, 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 I didn't realize. I thought maybe I was hallucinating. <laughs> Team Puss Puss Puss. This is the Meowdy. Well, uh, let's have a look. Peek inside the boot to see little cousin Hammy. Oh, this, this, could be, uh, this could be dangerous. This is an Audi A4 that's clearly had some sort of uh, modification. Oh, look at Ham. There's Hammy. By gum. Look at Hammy go. He's fit. That's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, oh no, though. No inspectors. I've all of a sudden gone off. <laughs> gone off uh, the Meowdy. This is this is a bit of fun, isn't it? But you've lost me at no inspectors. I'm How afraid. How do you clean it? I yeah, suppose you vacuum it. <laughs> That's a genius use of cable is, ties, isn't it? isn't it? Give it some whiskers. If I'd got some change, I'd give them a donation. But I've left it in my bag. Can I just? draw your attention to something which is not this uh, Marcus it's this Honda logo you don't see many of them nowadays that'd be good for mum what a great little car this is nice standard flying light 12 drop head coupe you like that? that's a pretty thing do you fancy a uh, That reminds Mazda me MX5? of Mrs. John Coupon's nails. Take a look at this lovely Rover 600. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Hang on a minute. No, it's a, it's a Honda Accord, of course. Much better. Aha, Honda Acclaim. Oh, wait. That's a nice drop-top Celica. And next to it, a lovely old Honda. Another one. This one. Prelude. The Prelude. Baby Inspector! Hello, Baby Inspector! <laughs> Ow, puppy! I got puppied! <laughs> That's a beauty. It is. Oh, look at that. Row style oh. wheels. Yeah, it's your Bro favourite. I know. And the, and the wood inlay. That's a credit to them, isn't it? It's a lovely thing, isn't it? Yeah. Everything's better with Rostal wheels. Certainly was from the 1970s. Got 
got to take a quick look at this, which is next to this TVR, the lovely Audi A2. Fast becoming rare. That's a uh, interesting uh, MG Mini there. Look at that K series in yeah, there. It's got a VVC in it. It has got a VVC in it. Insert comment. It just answers what you can get in there, doesn't yeah. it? Bit of a squeeze. Oh well, yeah, you've got plenty of room to be oh, it's a different sub changing the head gasket. The all changed at the front, so it's been chopped a bit altered, yeah. I'm going to just show you from a distance, so, oh. we don't, so we don't get too excited. Micro! Yeah. Now we come to find the Citroen 2CV oh, it's a display collection. area, a whole collection of them, look. We've got, a, we've got a dolly here. Is this a bamboo? Do you think your mum would like that? What? 2CV? Well, it's got Kermit the Frog in it, look. Yeah, she'd like that. She'd like that. Oh, she'd like this one, though, wouldn't she? This one is, this is nice. This is it? Mum's, isn't it? This I'm is sending this nice. picture to Mum. You're going to send her a picture? Yeah, this has got to be. This is Mum's car of the show. That's the second time I've seen you get your phone out to take a picture today. One is of the Ferrari, and the second, then, will be this 2CV. Have you sent a photo of that to Mum? Yeah, I just bought you this, it says. <laughs> Let's carry on, look oh. at this. Oh, what you found? Harvest Gold. <laughs> yes, which is the same colour as your uh, your new units in the front room. Well, I know a shortcut. Yeah, let's take a shortcut. Have you seen this? It's a Hyundai i30N. Smart, isn't it? Is it the N or the N line? I think it might be the N line edition. It's Actually, got fancy... I'm a big fan of the N lines. It's got fancy uh, super duper bracks. Yeah, I'm a fan. But yet again, you're drawn to a Mini. Oh no, these are a bit rare now. Yeah, they certainly are. Aha, another Micra. Excellent. Oh, it's got the um, Micra Japanese Ma import spec grill. This is Micra Mafia. Yeah. <sighs> Sounds good. I've always been tempted to put a set of these chrome door handles on a Micra. What it's do you in, reckon? It's in this. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry, now, now I'm She's looking. a Glyn Hopkin. <laughs> she is, yeah. Well, it's, as you say, it's got this aftermarket, not aftermarket, it's got this import spec rear grab handle as well. Rover 600, yeah. spotted, also spotted. Roadster. Smart Roadster. Look at the size of that. What, the Smart Roadster? No, no it's not, not too big, to be honest. Oh, thing, you mean really. this whacking great big V8 thing? <laughs> Cool. Corsair. Hang on a minute. Can you hear that? No. Can you hear that? It's been I, done. I can hear the timing no, change. No, you can't. You've walked straight past it. I know you, you're excited to see this Citroen GTI, but what do you think to that Apple Jack Metro? Hey? Apple Jack Metro, my friend. Apple Jack. Ta da! Yeah, lovely. Fiat Doblo oh. spotted. That's big. Bigger than your average Doblo. And also a Micra. Are yeah. we going to look at this? Of course I am. So that is going to be a, an S, looking at the uh, mouldings. Ta-da! Micra S. Well, that's nearly it for the Mayfair parking, because as I say, yeah. a few people have left. It's only one o'clock. Everybody's gone but, uh, Some of them are going off to get their dinner. These are on my list of things that I really like. A Zodiac. I've come all the way to the corner of the car show. Dad's going to look at this Allegro, and I'm going to look at the purple panda. You know, I'm a bit of a sucker for a purple panda. And you're a bit of a sucker for a brown Allegro. No long with Allegros. Do you know what? We, that's it, we've done the Mayfair parking. Excellent. What was your car of the Mayfair parking? Oh, the... Uh... Two CVs. The which one? Two CVs. Mine has got to be either the Purple Panda or, or the Smart 450 that's done a whopping 180,000 miles. I don't like soft tops. No, it is a cabrio, so that's yeah. let it down. It does. Aha, a collection of Renaults have appeared, including one for Mrs. John Coupland. Down at the bottom here. <laughs> That's for Mrs. John Cooplin, yeah it is. She could put Pat the Panda in that. Got a soft spot for little old Renos. Got a soft spot for them. I know there's been bread and butter for years, but... 
Right, so that's it. We've seen all the cars at the Rustival. I hope you've enjoyed our top picks and a little wander around. What, uh, what's your takeaway from today? There's not so many vehicles here as last time. Unless they've all gone home. Well, why would they go home? Because it's not a bad day, is it? No, it's a lovely day. You're right, it doesn't seem there's, there's uh, many vehicles. We've been on stage. Did you enjoy your uh, time on the stage? Not really. Yeah, I know. But it's you not... got to chat with Danny and uh, Matt. It's not and my sort A few of other people. In fact, there it is. There's the Smart yeah. 450 that we were just talking about. I love the Roadster wheels. I'm going to get some of them. I'm going to get some Roadster wheels for mine. Uh, okay, what's next now? We're gonna have a look around the museum? Yeah, I'm just gonna grab a drink. Can I grab a drink? Bye, see you, mate. Bye to Ian. Yeah, it's good, it's We're going to grab a drink, go around the museum, and then we'll go home and do the mill light check. I'm still enjoying the fact that there's a Nissan Micra parked next to a Ferrari. Well, that's old news, that is, mate. It's <laughs> old news. We're heading now then to uh, the Jaguar Daimler collection which we had a bit of a stomp around last time. Oh, hang on a minute, via, via something that Dad's going to show us. Oh, oh, a side exhaust. Yeah. Cool, in this Humber. Side exhausts are us. No, don't tell me. Excellent. Twin side exhausts. And then look at the wheels, eh? Yeah, I know. I like that, you know. Oh, I bet it does. I bet it goes. How does it go? We're in the Daimler Jaguar Heritage section, and you're going to show me something to do with a V12 engine. This is the V12 Jaguar engine. Tell, tell us about it. Simple job. Changing the spark plugs. There's one down there. You need a special bent spanner to get out. There's one in my toolbox. Oh, hang on a minute. Let's have a look. So they're down here. Yeah, you need like an offset plug spanner. And you've got one of those? I've got one of them in my toolbox still. Yeah. But you can bet your life, half the time when you serviced them, that plug there had never been done. Which plug's that? Just so, this a, is, so this is the front of the block. Yeah, this is the... And this is the, this is the end yeah. of the block. And the There's one down plugs there. plug's down there, yeah. So why has that often never been done? Because it was hard good to get at, needed to take that off. What is that? That's the throttle spindle thing. Okay, and how do you take that off? You just, just take the bolts out. It's a piece of wee wee, really. So why why is people not taking it out? They just can't be bothered. Yeah, because what you did was you started off, and you changed that one, which was a fiddle. These are all easy. That one was a fiddle. Then you stopped and had a smoke. <laughs> yeah. And then you went round and did the other then side. Then you went round and did the other side. Yeah. Then you then you didn't get angry. So you have a break halfway through. How, um, how, long would it, angry. how long would it take you to do them? It takes you an hour to do the spark plugs on one of these. It's, uh, it's certainly a big old beast of an engine, isn't it? The 5.3 litre. It's all right Good. getting them out. How many of them have you done in, in, in your time? Lots. What cars were these fitted to? XJS. Yep. Series 3, Series 2, Series 3. Good. Thanks for that little insight. Need a cigarette halfway through. Are we ready, son? Yeah. Will she start? Well, have we got what, any keys? That's what I'm thinking. Will it start? <laughs> right, you're in charge of that. That's your sat nav. Yep. Uh, will it start? But if not, we we'll have got a jump, jump back. pack in the boot. Go. Here we go. Ready? Moment of truth. Ta-da! Good. So we're leaving. So we're leaving Rustaville too. Yep. Uh, you had a good day. Oh, tiring, but I've had a good day, it a really good a day. It was a tiring day. Do you know what I'm going to do? I've had a I'm brilliant day. Just go this way, and we're going to go via the British Motor Museum. Oh, so yeah. We can show everybody uh, the, the lovely Motor Museum. It's been a fantastic day. Uh, we've seen lots of things, and we've seen lots of things in your highlights. Uh, the highlight for you? Oh, Everything really. Everything. 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 Look at that Ford Ka. Beautiful. That um, Vauxhall. Yeah, the Vauxhall. It was very, very. The Vauxhall nice. was very good. Um, I've still got this mill light on. Don't worry about it. So we'll have a look when we get home at that, and uh, check out what the mill light is. We've seen lots of people. We've seen lots of cool cars. The Micra's got us here, and hopefully the Micra is going to get us home. We'll wave at everybody as we leave. See yous! <laughs> Shout at folk. 
Uh, oh, is this the way out? Oh, maybe. Anyway, you've had a good day. Oh, I see, it's to stop people running into each other. You've had a good day. Wonderful day. Excellent. I am absolutely shattered. My feet hurt. I'm tired, hungry. I'm not hungry, no. Uh -oh. Oh. But you're ready for home. CCTV in operation. Good. Respect the community. If you've enjoyed the video, uh, thumbs up, please. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Uh, let us know in the comments down below. What did you reckon to the Rustival? Did you come? Did you attend? Did you uh, see things that you wanted to see? And did you enjoy this uh, little best of? Let us know in those comments down below. A full Pistons podcast roundup is coming, but... Uh, the Micra, you're happy with the way it's performed? Bloody went well, mate. Yeah, didn't it? it did go well, for those of you wanting to know. The Micra did drive really nicely, and actually, uh, it was thankful for a good old run, I think. The only thing that's bothering me is that mill light. It's not bothering Dad. I'm not worried. I'm not either. As ever, thank you for watching this video. Dad and I have selected a couple more videos for you that we think that you might like. They're here now. Just give them a click to watch them. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. It means a lot to us. Thank you.